hello everyone welcome back to my channel ui path tutorials in today's use case i'm going to show you how we can read the excel file ask user to enter a name there will be a input dialog box so a user have to enter a name into that third is fetch record with respect to found name match the name we can say So fetch record with respect to matched name. Now whatever name the user enters into the input dialog box, it will match that particular name somewhere into the Excel file. Also update the status with respect to name in status. Now the bot also have, need to update a status as found. or not found with respect to name with respect to name which is supplied here with the help of input dialog box now let me show you the excel file here i have name age department and status column there's some values written here the bot have to update the status as a found and not found on the basis of the input that the user is going to put now if user entered a entered a input as rahul then if the rahul is present in the sheet the bot should update the status as found and apart from that like if that rahul is not present then it should mention it as a not found similar way it bot have to update the each rows one by one with the status found and not found now let's go to the studio first you have to read that particular excel file with the help of read range activity i am storing the records in dt record data table dt record which is basically a, a variable type data table here now i have used input dialog just to take input from the user now you see dialog title is enter the name input type is text box as i want to take a input from the user value enter this is will be the output whatever value you have entered into the input dialog box it will the bot will going to store it into the name variable which is a string type now going forward i am just printing this name here with the help of right line after that i have used for each row in data table where i am passing a dt record which is coming from here read range activity and this is our current row after that just give me what is happening okay now you have to use a if condition as current row then in bracket the column name which is name dot to string equals to name now if it is matched then the bot should stored it into the temp variable which is found if it is not present that not found this now once this is done once this is done what i have to do i have to use excel application scope okay just give me a minute I I think let me comment this part. I have used the wrong one actually. I'm uncommenting this part. Yeah. So this is pretty clear. Like I am passing a DT record here in the data table and then I'm matching the current row then column name dot to string was to name. So whatever name the the user will enter it, it will going to match it into the 
current rows which is basically coming from the data table now if it is masked i am updating a found in the current row status i have written as a current row then status which is a column name that's it don't write dot to string or something here otherwise it will give an error so you have to write it directly as a current row then in the bracket status which is found in the case if it is match and not found in if it is not matched after that in the end you see i am using write range activity to put all the to put the dt record basically here as an input now the dt record is updated somewhere here here into the loop it is already it is updating right you see i am putting found and not found on the current row status so it is updating at runtime now let's see let's run this and let's see the output let me enter rahul which is there in the excel file okay let me open the excel file whether it's updated or not so the rahul is present so it is updated as found now let me put the name which is not present in the excel file let me put the name as kk now let me check the output now now if you see for all the names the status is not found because the kk is not present right so this is how you can use this particular logic to update the status now there are different ways to do it this is the one way to do it let me tell you the another way let's see it from lookup data table similar way here you have to read this particular excel file with the help of read range and putting and storing it into the dt record which is again a type is data table now coming below i have i have used input dialog box i am taking input of the user then i have used for each row in data table when i am passing a dt record same thing i am doing similar steps i have performed here also there is a slight change i'll tell you so here you see i am matching the current row name equals to name which is also similar condition if it is matched okay sorry i think i have picked a wrong workflow i picked the wrong workflow uh, there are a lot of workflow i got confused yeah sorry uh, let me explain it again so this is the excel application scope i am reading that particular excel and using input dialog box to taking input then you see i am using a filter data table here why i am using a filter data table i am use i am basically taking a filter data table just to match the name so in dt record we have all the data right so in the dt record if the name which is supplied through the input dialog box is matched is matched then definitely it will have some count in it when it have some count that means there is a value present in excel it means i have to update i have to update that particular row i have to update that particular row as a found so for that i have used excel application scope and used lookup range i have used lookup range what this lookup range will do the lookup range in the lookup range we have to pass a, a name as a value name is something which is coming from input dialog box and the result will be stored in address now how the result will come 
the result will come if you see if raul is matched then the bot will going to give me a address as a2 you see it is on the a2 address so it will give me as a a2 so that but i have to update a value with on d2 not a2 right because state is present on d2 what i have done it should be a dynamic right the row should be dynamic for now the rahul is on second row so that's why it, i am taking as a a2 and d2 maybe if i enter a value the john then it will take as a4 so let's take with example first with rahul so here it is a2 the bot have to update the found and not found status in d2 now for that i am just printing the address basically and what i have done i am replacing this a with the d because anyways i want to update a record somewhere on the d column not a column so now it is replaced and i am passing this address here itself i am passing address here itself and just writing a, a value as a found writing a value as a found now let me close this and run this workflow if i write down here as a john click on the okay button let's see the output first so the we have entered a name as a john john is present in the excel file so it is found the address of john is a4 so i replace it with a d4 because i want to update the status so if you see the status is updated as a found so look up look up excel you can use to update something with respect to the values provided now this is this approach is from the look up excel one i have already told you we can use update status with respect to no now again if you if we, here itself also if you only want to update the match record and you don't want to update the status as a not found then you can replace this part also because anyways i just want to update the status only when the value is matched so you can remove this part also but if you want that the bot should write found and not found in the case of matched or unmatched then you can use the both things so you can utilize this code to update the statuses thanks for watching my video have a great day